welcome to today's video and welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. Um, Sean's uh, going to tell you what he's been up to and um, in this uh, video we've tried to um, do a bit of um, translation because uh, with Sean speaking two languages, Scottish and English, we've done some translations for you so they might help. And if, if they're popular then we might do one for American yeah. and English, we'll see. So, <clears throat> Sean will tell you what we've been up to today and, uh, yeah. Well, today we really we started off fertile on that wing again, just make sure that, that was lining up right, and it is, which we're pleased to say. Also today, um, I've been making little clips, little um, brackets I should say, that bolt onto the, well you weld them onto the, the wing and the bonnet. It's little brackets that hold the wing and the bonnet together. Which you'll see in the video. Yeah, Dave will show you that. He's been um, showing you him. So, so has it, I, yeah. so has he's been working, I've been videoing him and that. So, so hope you enjoy the video. Yeah. See you. I'll just give this a wee doddy weld. Yep. So the Scottish translation to English for this is, I'll just put a small tack weld on this material. I'm just going to give this a wee malky. Okay, so uh, the translation for Malky into English is this would be a big Malky and this would be a wee Malky in Scotland or a little Malky in England. And a Malky is a tap or a blow of a hammer. Ah! So the translation from the Scottish of Go Raj is I've messed up, I've screwed up, and going ballistic. That's pure mince. Uh, pure mince, in translation from the Scottish uh, vernacular, is unserviceable or scrap. Yeah. How's that looking, Sean? Sure? Uh, to me a wee bot here, Dave. Okay. Yeah, that's good. The translation for a wee bar here is, uh, can you move it slightly closer to me, please? Or, uh, a little pubic hair distance. So, um, <clears throat> we've had to do some work on the wing. On the end of the wing extensions, where the bonnet comes down onto the car, which we'll take and show you in a minute. Uh, this is a piece that goes onto the side. <clears throat> and basically, on here is a, uh, a bracket which holds the wing extension on and the centre panel here. And basically what happened was, is um, <clears throat> due to the SPL acid dipping, and the acid was never neutralised on the back, they were very badly corroded and every one of them snapped. Consequently, this meant we had to take every, all the uh, spot welds out and take this off the wing to make a new piece. Now, I'll, I'll bring a piece up and show you what we've had to do. So this, this is the, this is the piece that was in it originally. You can see it's been made, probably some young apprentice in 66 made that. And they were absolutely sea solid inside. In fact, if you look at that one, you'll probably recognise that. That's a... Um, a tap, or well, not a tap, actually, a um, easy, out. easy out. Thanks. <laughs> That's an easy out. So, um, what's happening now is, is uh, Sean's made this one and we've retapped it and we made taps in it. Uh, but there's a little problem with this one. So, can you can you get us that tap, Sean, please? What, do you want the bigger one? Yeah, the big tap. Yeah, thanks. Who's that, Dave? Um, yeah, obviously this. Obviously he has a nickname up there, uh, DB. He must be Trigger, is it? Fucking tack four. Sorry. So, uh, I don't know. Right. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this one and try it out. We're going to put it in there and make sure it fits completely. And then what we'll do is we'll weld it into place. So, here's the other bolt. You 
can see this is extremely fiddly um, job this bonnet. It's not it's not an easy fix. I think Sean will come back into camera. I think he'll tell you after working on it for three days. So it's quite a complicated structure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The bonnet assembly on the E type. What the hell? It's something else, by the way. Um, we had a look at the breakdown diagram on the computer last night, and I did. I didn't realise how many parts were in the, the bonnet assembly compared to a mini. You know, these bonnets are really, really good. Well, even the mini doesn't have a skin, I don't think, does it? it doesn't it's got have a an inner skin. Is it? Yeah. Just one little bit welded in. Yeah. You know, but also in these um, E types as well, the, the inner framework is masticed onto the underside of the bonnet. Yeah, no welding. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to show you this bit and then we're going to take you down onto the car. So like you can see there, you see that's, so this would be on the wing and this is the new one and you can see that this is where it is. So what we'll do now is we'll tack weld this here and here as it was originally. This is the original one, it would have been in there like that. And very thick, which it didn't need to be. And then we'll just weld that down and we'll show you where this goes on the car. Will you? So you can see this is the part that we're talking about here. Okay, this is the guide which comes onto this guide here. Onto this bottom bit. And you can see that what goes, well, as it comes down, this is quite an optical illusion but it actually works. It looks like it's going to hit and it's too far inside. And you can see, look at that, it's, you get a, thou, a thousand ga uh, a gauge in there just to, Okay, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. You've seen uh, Sean's work and how much we've had to do and, and how reasonably complicated the bonnet is, the structure of the bonnet, and there's so many parts and, and certainly nuts and bolts and washers to put this thing together. Around about 200 nuts, bolts, washers, spring washers and so on and so forth. Um, so <coughs> basically we're ready now tomorrow to pull the parts that he's made today back on the wings and then we'll put both wings on properly and then see how they fit. And I'll finish off with Sean. Yeah, um, thanks for tuning in, tuning in guys. And uh, like Dave says, we have been fairly busy uh, today. Just getting little bits and pieces done. And it's just the little bits that take up the time. You know, having to cut them out of sheets, steel, mm -hmm. tap them, shape them to get them to fit. And really that's what does take up a lot of the time. In fact, um, if Sean Shows you this piece, this piece is, is the one piece, isn't it, underneath? The one piece underneath. Oh. We're going to show, we're gonna, can you just show that piece? This bit? Yeah. You can cut this anyway. If you can just explain that this piece is £49 and it's actually cheaper to we yeah. cut it. Right? So, if you, so if you start now. Right. These sections here, um, these are only like £49 a piece. Although we have been um, trying to straighten them up and what have you, um, I think um, myself and Dave would certainly recommend renewing these for the price that they are. Um, they would look a hell of a lot better because they've all been as straight as a die um, when they come come as new. So if you if you're watching in now, what we're going to do, even though the other one's been repaired, um, what we're going to do is is we'll prime them just so that it's on the bonnet because it's going to be some time before it's taken apart but if you go to Martin Roby in, in the next year or whatever and just purchase these, they're £49 and it, it isn't worth repairing them, we have but it's been an exercise really for Sean just to see how things go together so although we we'll put them on the bonnet to bring it back I would suggest you buy these and just bolt them straight on brand new just prime them, put them on this, this one on the one on the other side okay so because we really need these for building the bonnet back up. Yeah, see? there's a section here that we need it, so but I would suggest you buy new ones. So thanks for watching in and see you tomorrow, last day I'm afraid. Yeah, last day tomorrow, yeah. Last day guys, so uh, and then on Tuesday obviously Sean will be going back up to Vienna and, and back up to Edinburgh. So take care. Bye guys. Bye.